So maybe you've heard the term CCS1 around here, so we're going to talk about it coming up. Before we even get into what CCS1 and CCS2 are, we need to back up a little bit and understand the basics and understand what the J1772 is. SAE, or the Society of Automotive Engineers, J1772 Type 1, is the format for the Level 2 slow charging here in the US for non-Teslas. There is also the IEC, or the International Electrotechnical Commission, J1772 Type 2 connector, which is basically similar to the Type 1 here in the US, but it's used in Europe and most of the other parts of the world. So these two connectors deliver AC, or alternating current electricity, which is basically the, the electricity that you would get from your house. The biggest difference between the Type 1 here in the US and the Type 2 in Europe is the Type 2 has two more pins, the L2 and the L3 pin, which allow the Type 2 to deliver more current or more power to your car. Well, more energy to your car. So how much you might ask? The Type 1 here in the US delivers typically 7.2 kilowatt, whereas the Type 2 in Europe can deliver up to 22 kilowatt. So as you can see, that's a pretty big difference. However, it also depends on your car. So your car's charging port needs to be able to accept that much power, and if it doesn't, then it doesn't really matter if you have a Type 1 or Type 2 because the car is going to be the limiting factor. So as I mentioned earlier, the connectors at home are AC or alternating current, and this is what the car's charge port can accept, and then it actually converts it into DC or direct current, which is the energy that will flow straight into your battery pack. So if we take an example car charging port from a non-Tesla, my dad has a Hyundai Ioniq 5, and that car actually has a really exceptional char uh, car charging port, the, that car can accept 11 kilowatts of power. So because it can accept 11 kilowatts of power, basically any home charger will almost not be able to stay up with that. So basically it's going to be your EVSE, which is your electric electric uh, vehicle supply equipment, uh, is going to be kind of the limiting factor in that case. So basically the only type of EVSE that can you know surpass 11 kilowatts is going to be a like a Rivian wall charger would be one of them or basically any type of charger that's hardwired into your sub-panel at 48 amps on a 60 amp breaker. So if it, if it does 48 amps at 240 volts, that's 11.5 kilowatt. So in this case at my parents' house, they actually, their EVSC is the limiting factor. They do have a Grizzly, uh, Grizzly charger, and basically it is plugged into the NEMA 1450. So because it's on a 50 amp breaker, it only charges at 40 amps, which is converts to 9.6 kilowatts of power. So the J1772 connector is the basis for CCS1 and CCS2, CCS standing for Combined Charging System. And when we talk about CCS1 and CCS2, this is now DC fast charging rather than AC slow charging. And so on the connectors for CCS1 and CCS2, there's additional two pins at the bottom to enable fast charging. So this type of charging is typically used on road trips or when you're not at home and you need a lot of energy in a short amount of time. Currently both CCS1 and CCS2 can charge at 350 kilowatt max. So there's no weird business with the extra two pins in the Type 2 J1772. Uh, this, the power in general is all the same for both uh, formats of CCS. So as you can see, CCS charging is quite a bit faster than AC slow charging at 350 kilowatt compared to 22 kilowatt in, in Europe and 11 kilowatt here in the US. And just like with AC slow charging, DC fast charging will also depend on the car that you have. So if you take my dad's Ionic 5 again, this car is an exceptional again and it's one of the few cars that has 800 volt architecture, which basically means it can charge quite a bit faster on a DC fast charger than uh, other cars. So with the 800 volt architecture on the Ionic 5, the car can accept 225 kilowatt of power on a DC fast charger. So if we compare that to a Chevy Bolt, the Chevy Bolt can only do 50 kilowatts of power on a DC fast charger. So it's pretty much night and day how fast you charge on the Ionic 5 compared to the Chevy Bolt. So to put this charging speed into more of a layman's terms, Hyundai says that it can charge from 10% to 80% in 18 minutes on a 350 kilowatt DC fast charger. So if we break that down even more, that's 18 minutes for 212 miles of range, which is really fast. So that's the difference between the AC J1772 Type 1 and Type 2 connector, 
and the DC Fast Charger CCS1 and CCS2. So hope the video was helpful and thanks for watching.